Is the match I've been waiting for next? Which one? What match are you waiting for? Because we have Phenom versus Knuckle Doo Dang. Knuckle Doo got knocked into losers round one by Itabashi. Here we go. So yeah, Phenom. Uh, what's it called? He, uh, I think he had a good draw in the sense that the LCQ match first round was good for him. But uh, this one. Eesh. But yeah, we see Knuckle Dude play a lot of Kami. He has a weird style of Kami. Uh, I mean, he played Kami in Street Fighter 4 also a little bit, right? He just has a weird style of Kami. Like, he doesn't do, like, the walk back and forth hit buttons on the ground a lot, Kami. He's, like, always dashing, back dashing, jumping. He has, like, a weird style of Kami. Punish. Yeah, pretty good damage. Surprised he went Kami first instead of Guile. I wonder if it's like he just doesn't like this matchup for Guile or he likes Kami Nikali that much. Smoked. EXDP? I don't think it would have killed, so that's why, yeah. I think that's what. Whoops. That, that makes sense, right? EXDP probably wouldn't have killed, so dash, dash, down, jab, bait the throw. Didn't Phenom win his match? Uh, he won his first match, but lost his second match. Knuckle Dude lost his first match. He almost was actually close enough to get that. Dizzy? Damn, he's beat the hell out of him that round. He's not dead yet, and uh, this is a pretty scary spot for Nikali, right? Oh, man, he wants that activation button so bad. That's all you had to look out for Knuckle Dude there. If you're Knuckle Dude, you just want to whip punish that one thing. Damn, he smoked him. Damn, he smoked him. The speed at which he plays with Kami is like, yeah. It's, it reminds me a lot of his Miko where he doesn't mess around. Like, he's really just trying to get the job done quick. He's not like a very wait and see kind of player. Even like when he plays Guile, who's a pretty defensive player overall. Um, you know, he still like walks forward and is pretty active. That was a whiff punish. Combo. Yeah, that was really good. Almost as good as thanking my lovely subscribers. Thanks very much for the Twitch Prime, homie. Somebody asks, Nikali's VT2 doesn't end either. I'm very behind on SFI. What does it do? Uh, both of Nikali's V-Triggers give him uh, the same thing, like the unending V-Trigger and all the, the buffs that he gets from his V-Trigger. They just give him a unique special move. So VT1 gives him a stomp thing, and VT2 gives him a fireball. That's all. Thanks for the sub, homie. Yeah, this is a bad spot for Knuckle Dude for sure. Just DP. Our wake up jab, it beat the command throw. He tried two of them. That's the thing about Knuckle Dude's cami though, right? Is like he has such a weird style that I think Oh man, he woke up throw. He has such a weird style as a as a cami player. Like every think about all the other camis we've watched so far and just watch Knuckle Dude play. Like it's not like he, hey, what the hell? It's not like he's doing anything that you expect other cami players to do, right? He just plays this character so fast and so wild, and it's like uh, it really works out well for the way that he plays. He's really good at forcing uh, field-based situations and capitalizing on them really well. Yeah, he has like not done a single button on the ground. He's just been standing there. <laughs> He's really good at that. I think as a Guile player, that kind of intuition is something you have to do for the character. Don't be lazy during your back dashes. Don't be lazy during your back dashes. Always buff or something. Like EXDP. Missed uh, dive kick. When you're back dashing, you should always buffer something. You saw earlier Knuckle Do buffer drill because he wanted to whiff punish what Phenom did with it. Yeah, back strong. He's close enough to get the target combo there, which gives you like the lift into the. Um, oh my god, Dizzy. Oh boy. Yeah, Phenom was like very, very close to being dizzy there. Man, Knuckle Dude's cami is so weird. That was a way punish. That's that's a scary spot to get clipped. 
I like the backdash because he expected, I think, a stagger or, like, you know, walk up command throw, walk up whatever. Like, I think against Nikali there, that's not the worst idea. Especially if he commits the button stomp and you flip out. That's great. Nice. Man, he's playing this matchup very well. Why can I see what's going on in the thumbnail down here? Makes picking where to go really hard. Ah, uh, you try to get a punish. That's good damage. Counter hit. <laughs> yeah, you don't see Knuckle Dude's cami that much, right? But it's a lot like his Mika. And that it has a job to do. It, it doesn't play kind of like in the normal style, so I think that throws a lot of people off in tournament. Like, look at Knuckle Dude's not even really abusing, like, cami ground in normals, like a lot of cami players are going to do, right? Play the ground game. He's only using her for the dash, the dive kick, the pressure, the reversal, right? Like, that's all he wants. Punish? No, it didn't reach. Knuckle Dude could have had a better punish than that. But, I mean, it's, you know, his cami and not his guile. He's getting close to chip. If he activates here, oh, he got clipped. Too slow. I like that idea from Phenom to activate and then DP. Yep, reacts to the dash. Yeah, Knuckle Dude really likes that. The jab into the heavy kick. I, I feel like he's always liked things that beat throws or throw techs. Even his cami a lot in the corner does jump over light kick, EXDP. And with Mika, he's the same kind of way. He likes getting into those 50 50 scenarios where he gets to bait your throw. With Guile, he uses upside down kick, right? Same kind of thing. Jump again? Oh my god. Delay there just in case he dive kick or uh, uppercut. He has no bar now, so he can't reversal. Yep, ex in. Oh my god, he's gonna activate here. That was so high, yeah. Punish. A little too fast for his own good, but that's what I mean about Knuckle Dude's cami, right? Like the ex into the dive kick right away. It's like he's not even. Yeah, he's just playing. Kind of like the jump or dash style, but with another character. He's he's really good about feeling when his opponent's gonna like do something on the ground. He has really, really, really good intuition. Back throw dizzies. Yep. There it is. No, he doesn't have full super. This is it. This is the scary guess. Punish. He missed the drill. Mm, nowhere to go. If you're feeding him, that's a straight 50-50, right? Damn, he beat the hell out of him. This is a straight 50-50. After this jab hits, you're in V-Trigger. So you have to guess right here. Does Knuckle do hit a button or not? If he hits a button, he's going to do fierce uppercut super to chip you. If he doesn't hit a button uh, to, tr to just walk back, and you DP because you're like, oh, I don't want to get chipped out, and he blocks, you're dead. That's a straight guess. Yeah, that was a beatdown. His cami is just so unorthodox. He has one of the strangest styles of cami. I feel like I always felt that way about his Mika too, though. 